Hi guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be talking about celebrities that I have met. I'm not going to be rating them or anything. I'm just going to be telling you who I met, the encounters that I had with them, and my nursing student right now that I am precepting at work gave me this idea because we were watching the Kardashians on my lunch and I was telling him that at the Starbucks that I used to work at, we used to meet so many celebrities and it was always awkward. Sorry, my dogs are trying to chew up my glasses. It was always awkward asking for like a photo or something, but I have never had a really bad experience with a celebrity but i did get to meet a lot of them i don't know why at this particular starbucks that i worked at we always and i mean always had celebrities um a lot of them that i did not know um and i can't remember a hundred percent every single person but every year when it comes up on facebook because i used to put it on my facebook for my sisters to see because they were like oh my god you mean so many celebrities um so yeah, anyway, if you guys wanna know who I met, just keep on watching. But before you swipe me away or click me out of this video, please like, comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Okay, so I think I'm going to tell you the first couple celebrities I met that has like a little story to it. So the first person that I ever met was Simbad um, that I can recall. And Simbad actually had gone to several stores in our neighborhood. And this is like back in, I think 2006. Yeah, that far ago, long ago. Um, so he went to a bunch of stores looking for an espresso machine and we were open late night and he happened to, we happened to have the espresso machine that he wanted and he was buying it for his neighbor. Came in, super nice guy, super friendly and funny. We um, gave him this, this espresso machine that he bought and then like a couple days later, his neighbor returned it and I was like, are you kidding me? That is like a thousand dollar espresso machine and he went to several stores looking for this and then he proceeded to tell me this story on how Sinbad had embarrassed him at a Christmas party or something and he I don't know didn't really care about it but anyway he ended up returning that machine the next person I'm gonna tell you about is Chrissy Mack and Chrissy Mack and Mario actually came in on the same exact day I got to have pictures with them um, so Christy Mack, if you don't know, is a porn star. I had no idea she did porn. So back in like, I want to say 2011, 2012, before Instagram was really like a big thing. Um, I was scrolling one day and I see this beautiful girl on like the discovery page or whatever, um, explore page with a mohawk it was long black she had tattoos and i thought she was just so gorgeous i've never seen anybody so much so beautiful with a mohawk and like pulling it off and then she just had really amazing tattoos so um anyway i'm at starbucks one day and i used to wear do rag because i had bright red hair and at the time starbucks did not allow us to have um colored hair and so i'm sweeping and i see this drop dead gorgeous girl standing by the bathroom and I'm sweeping and I'm like oh my god you are so beautiful and she's like thanks I was like I love your hair and so I um told her uh she was like oh I, I like your hair because she, she's like I see it's red underneath there and I'm like I have to hide that but um yeah then I go and I see on Instagram that it's Christy Mack she's like this famous porn star so the next time she came in I was like Christy I saw you on Instagram I'm like I'm so sorry I don't watch porn <laughs> so I'm like I didn't know who you are and she's like it's okay I don't watch it either and it was just she was one of the nicest people I've ever met and we remained friends I went with Cameron my fiance to go see her perform at a show at I think Deja Vu when she was touring and we had a blast it was so much fun we took a photo with her i'll try to insert it somewhere hopefully it doesn't crop weird in editing because I'm, I'm still new at this um so yeah she was amazing very fun very sweet person i've never heard any bad stories about chris mack i love her so the next person is mario and i do have a photo with mario um i'll try to post these somewhere um he was nice i don't really remember the encounter i just remember it was the same day christy mack came in i think a second time um and then i saw her multiple times after that 
and um so mario i don't really remember the encounter i remember him being nice but i don't think we really talked he let us take a picture with him and that was pretty cool oh my god i totally forgot sorry ronda rousey i totally forgot to tell my student about ronda rousey so i actually was never really a fan of ronda rousey when she was super famous because of the fact that i felt like she was super cocky and i'm just i mean if you've been watching my channel for a while i'm just not into that like i'm not into people who are cocky or rude even though if it's just a persona and that was my fault i should have not judged her based off what i saw on the internet i should have gave her the benefit of the doubt that that's just part of her character in boxing so anyway i had a friend who really loved her and that was just like her idol so one day <laughs> my security guard mario it was his birthday had just left the store he went to go do his rounds and i'm sorry i'm trying to fight with like these dogs i don't know if you can hear them um they're playing on me but anyway um ronda rousey comes in and i come out and i'm like oh my god like i have to get a video of you please can i send it to my friend she absolutely loves you and she'll probably kill me if i say i like saw you and didn't get a photo so she was so sweet we took a photo i actually got a video with her and like um i said like hey rachel guess who i get to meet because i wanted rachel to see it um and then as i was walking away she actually turned around and was like hey what's your name like she was genuinely interested and this was after she lost the fight i think to holly i don't know you guys i don't know these people too much um i want to say holly madison but that could be totally wrong um but anyway she another customer was like oh my god i love your shoes she had like these really nice i think reebok shoes on and he was like oh my god like you're on a rousey and she took a photo with him um, and she also asked him like, hey, what's your name? And I just thought that was the most amazing thing. And it actually made me change my perception of her because of the fact that here I thought she was just a really cocky person and I did not like her personality um, because of that. Like I said, I never gave her that benefit of the doubt and meeting her in person just totally changed my mind about her because she was the sweetest person and the fact that she's letting fans take photos but also like hey what is your name made me really really love her so i'm glad i met her um okay so another person is and a great story um cat williams and suge knight suge knight came in the night i met cat williams for the first time but we really didn't talk there was a ton of security in our parking lot um when i met him and he um me and my friend ruby were working and it was just us two at the time i think a venti drip was like a dollar 85 or something like that it was crazy this was back also in like 2010 2011. um so i had dark hair at the time and um my coworker Ruby was like, has anybody ever told you that you look like Cat Williams? And he had the big belt buckle, which I think is what he would wear all the time on Wild and Out. And she was like, oh, duh, because you are Cat Williams. And he was super cool. He gave her a $100 bill. He only ordered a venti drip. And she was like, oh man, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't have to change for this because we were not allowed to take, we didn't have access to our 20s and we didn't have, we couldn't take bills that high. And he was like, who said I need to change? And he put the whole, I'm talking about like, I want to say maybe $97 in the tip jar for us. And Ruby was like, can we split it between each other? I'm like, no, I can't. I can't do that. That's against Starbucks policy. But I thought it was awesome. So then I didn't get a photo with him that time. But he came in, I want to say, a year later with his assistant. This time, Suge Knight was not here. This time, there was a whole, not as many security um, roaming around the plaza like there had been. And I'm sorry, baby. And um, I ran out and was like, Kat, can I please take a photo with you? I asked his assistant. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll grab him. So he comes out of the subway. He's walking towards me. And he's like, what's up, supermodel? And I was like, Kat. I was like, I don't know if you remember me. Like, I served you last year. He's like, yeah, I remember you. And it was before you had red hair. And I was like, what? Like, I just, I thought it was so funny that I'm sure he didn't remember me. But I just thought it was cool that he said that. So I really liked him. He was fun. Um, another funny story is I met Brandy. And here I am at the handoff bar and I'm making drinks. I'm not really paying attention to what's going on in the lobby. And I say, I hand off the drink and I'm like, Brandy. 
and I look up and all, she's on the phone. She has, I think she was carrying like a bunch of stuff. She, I said, oh my God, I said, I said Brandy and I look up and it's the actual Brandy. Like that, I literally said that out loud and she started smiling and like kind of giggling and she uh, like waved, but then walked away. But I thought it was so funny because I'm like, how often do you say Brandy and it's the actual celebrity? Um, I did see, so okay, a couple, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't watch a lot of TV shows. But I think I watch like three or four and they're all the same. Um, so I don't know that a lot of the actresses are uh, actors in these, but, um, everybody loves Raymond. We met the actor. He's, I think the brother that plays it, who's like super tall. We met him. I met Scarlett Johansson. I just saw her briefly, didn't really encounter with her. And then I met Jessica Simpson. I was texting on the bar like I shouldn't have been because I was a bad barista, <laughs> bad strip supervisor. And so I saw, um, Jessica Simpson grab her drink. She was wearing like a blue, like sports jacket with big sunglasses, but I'm like, I could tell it was her. I just didn't really put two and two together until she walked out. And then someone else came and was like, was that Jessica Simpson? I was like, I think that was, but I didn't pay attention. Um, and then, okay, so people from Grey's Anatomy, I met I don't know his name and I'm gonna have to look up these actors before, after when I'm editing this video So I did meet Kevin McKinn. I know his name for sure. Um, <laughs> I was really excited I had no idea he had an accent. Um, he was really nice He unfortunately lost his headphones in our bathroom and we were in a high crime area So I'm pretty sure somebody stole them, but he was really sweet. I saw him twice. He was super nice um, I didn't get a photo with him another actor and he just I think he played a small role on Grey's Anatomy, but he was in another show. I don't know what it's called and I have to look his name up and I'm really sorry, but in Grey's Anatomy, oh. Teddy Oltman marries one of the patients because he doesn't have insurance and then he ends up dying. In that show, he, this man had the most beautiful eyes that I don't know why I'm like a sucker for yellow eyes. So he has the most beautiful eyes. And when he came to our store, I looked up and I was like, oh my God, like you have really beautiful eyes. And I didn't realize who this was at the time. And, um, he was like, wow, I'm going to come to the Starbucks more often. You guys are all so sweet here. And I just start laughing. And then it hit me. I recognize those eyeballs. They're the same ones from Grey's Anatomy. So I thought it was funny. I'll have to look him up. Um, there's also another actress that will leave me. Oh, God, you guys, I hate that I don't know these people's names. And they're probably super famous. And they're. you guys are going to watch this video and be like, how do you not know these people? Okay, so Chad Michael Murray his wife which i don't know her name um but i know that she was in disturbia with shia labeouf she played the main love interest and then in a cinderella story with chad michael murray there his girlfriend um the cheerleader who doesn't like hillary duff i know her because she has a scar on her like in between her eyebrows so i know i'm gonna have to put that name up but um they were all super friendly chad michael murray um was a regular with his wife at our store and they were the most down-to-earth people i had one of my friends taylor really wanted to be an actress and she had asked um chad's wife sorry i don't know your name i don't want to I should look this up before filming this um she was she like gave her some contact information to help um um taylor out like be in to get into the acting world and taylor actually did get to work i don't know if it's like for universal studios or like warner brothers or something but taylor actually did get to um work on like for the production side of some of, of like a show and i thought that was really cool and sweet of them because i feel like a lot of actors and actresses always get approached um by people who are like aspiring to be actors and probably or like get annoyed of it so i thought it was really nice that she tried to help taylor out um oh, there's so many and i don't want to forget i met lou diamond phillips he let us take a photo i will insert it i'm gonna block the girls the other girl's face because i did not ask her for permission um to post this photo but um he, we met him he was super nice um snoop dog came in you guys and Shawnee Potts, <laughs> my coworker, didn't tell us we were in the back room until after he left. I was so pissed because I love Snoop Dogg. I think he's awesome and we didn't get to meet him. Um, so Bruce Jenner was a regular of ours. Um, he's come in every day. 
stupid, stupid, stupid me. <laughs> I remember asking, you guys, I was a really naive 19 year old person. <laughs> like, um, I had a coworker named Susie who worked day shift all the time. I usually was on nights, so I didn't really see Bruce all the time until I went to days. Um, so I'm asking Susie, and I'm, mind you, I'm like a freshman in college at this time. I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> Look at her face. Um, so Bruce comes in and he's like, I'm serving him. He's really nice. And um, I'm like, Susie, who is that? And she's like, oh, that's Bruce Jenner. He's like a world famous Olympian. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't play. I don't watch the Olympics. Like, I don't, I don't know who that is. And I think this is the year the Kardashians actually came out. And so um, I'm like, uh, no, I don't know. I'm like, is he a teacher? Before I asked Susie, I was like, is he my teacher? Like, did he teach me in high school or like college? Like, how do I know him? And so when Susie told me he was an Olympian, I was like, no, still don't know him like that. And then my dumbass was watching the Kardashians one day and I see Bruce on TV and I'm like, I am the biggest moron in the world. And I am so glad that I didn't ask him, were you my teacher? Like, how stupid would I have looked? Um, anyway, he stopped coming in for a while, and I remember seeing all those tabloids about him Kim caught him wearing a dress in her closet or something like that. And then years later, he actually did come in as Caitlyn Jenner, and he was still just as nice as he always had been. Um, but I didn't see him as often um, once that whole transition happened, but he, both people were very sweet. Um, and then we did meet Kris Jenner. Everyone on the show like says how she can be intimidating. I could see how that happened, but she was still very sweet. I mean, I didn't ask to take a photo with her, but she was really, really nice. And then Khloe Kardashian came in. She wasn't um, very talkative, but I remember my friend Gina, um, like I said, this was around the time the show first came out. Gina had written Chloe a note that said, you are my hero. And she went and she like kind of tossed it to her at the handoff bar and then ran back towards me, like towards the back of the store. And we were just like watching her and, and Chloe read it. And she was like, thank you so much. Like she was so sweet until this day. Like I love Chloe so much watching the show. Um, Kylie Jenner came in on the day on my day off and I was livid because I freaking love Kylie so much. Um, so Jeffree Star, you guys watch my videos all the time. He never came into our Starbucks, but he always was at the Jamba Juice in our plaza. And I always saw his car, but I never got to meet him and it annoyed me so much. And there was back in the day, um, she still is a YouTuber, Kato Potato, who I found on YouTube, who just loved him so much. Um, I always wanted to meet him so I could be like, I know this girl on YouTube who loves you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just always see his car. <laughs> Um, let me see who else have I met um I know there's people that I am going to forget <laughs> but we met so many people at Starbucks and I've never oh um there you go Selena Gomez Selena Gomez came in this was around the time that I was telling my my student, she wore a pink bikini I think she was like on a vacation in Mexico and they were saying she was fat or she had like gained weight. This girl was so, so tiny. I could not believe anybody would call this girl fat. She was so skinny. This was before she had been publicly um, open about being diagnosed with lupus. My mother has lupus, so I kind of understand, you know, um, like the fatigue, the tiredness and stuff. So, when selena came in she actually didn't really say anything she did have glasses on but we obviously knew who she was i think it was her assistant or whoever she was with ordered her drink with her for her and she just went and sat down um at one of the tables and waited and then left so we didn't really have an interaction with her she was very quiet but like uh <laughs> i don't think too much of it and i met ugh, i'm gonna i don't remember her name but she is one of the actresses on um law and order season one absolutely loved her she was light-skinned african-american she was also on bones i met her she was super friendly and i loved her so much I'm sorry you guys i don't know her name i will put it here but she was so sweet and i was so excited because that is one of my favorite tv shows of all time i love our uh, law and order svu and i think she was only on like the first two or three seasons before um they started changing up the cast 
Uh, let me see. I'm trying to remember if there's anybody else that I can recall. Hmm. Oh, you know who used to come in all the time? Andy Dick. And I can't believe I forgot to tell my student this. I, okay, I don't like to badmouth people, but I did not like Andy Dick. <laughs> like, he was just always coming in drunk, always, to me, rude, not purposely but i think you know he's a comedian he was trying to um say jokes but his jokes while he was drunk were not making sense and they came off rude so i really did not care for him um that's probably the only celebrity encounter that i have ever had that i like whatever i don't like wasn't excited to see you every time we'd come in i'd be like oh god he's here again like trying to be funny and he's just coming off rude okay i sat here and i contemplated for a little bit and i was like who else did we ever meet and i just can't remember anybody else at the moment so maybe in editing i will throw up and it's gonna be so sad for me to be like how the hell did i forget that person i know britney spears came into our store one time because my friend justin who was working with us was so in love with her and he signed her cd but i was not there for that uh day and so was dr weber dr weber from gray's anatomy came in when i wasn't there and i was so sad because i absolutely loved him oh my last and final story <laughs> glad I remembered this how could I forget this this annoyed me just because I felt like this guy was so nice and when I saw his fiance on say yes to the dress I was like Ugh, like oh just so disgusted by her um anyway so Joe Smith was a regular customer of ours so friendly came in every day he's like a former Laker and um yeah, like I said, he was he was our regular customer, came in every day, very friendly. However, when I was watching Say Yes to the Dress a few years ago, it was the Atlanta one. Um, his fiance had gone onto the show and was talking about how she only had a $3,000 wedding budget because he has multiple kids and their baby's mama took everything from them and she's not like that. And they thought if they had a baby with him that they would get married and um, they that didn't happen and that she he's gonna marry her now and i just thought it was so trashy like why do you have to go and air all that business like why do you have to explain why you have a three thousand dollar wedding budget who gives a shit like it just was oh i was so mad like joe really like how would joe feel about you going and trash talking about his baby mama drama like I don't know I just thought it wasn't very classy of her to do so I was really annoyed especially since Joe was really cool and like one of our regulars it just was not really like anyway <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and for joining me today um I will link down below whoever else I remember who i might have forgotten um but anyway thank you guys don't forget to subscribe please i am so 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 close to a thousand um subscribers but anyway thank you guys have a lovely day bye do you guys want to say bye since you guys have been bugging you guys have been bugging <laughs> bye guys I have to jump back on here real quick and duh i met my wedding dress designer Haley page who i absolutely love and i guess i didn't include her because i met her at um <laughs> the bridal salon and not starbucks but i love Haley page she is the sweetest person the first time i met well the only time i met her she gave me this beautiful drawing of and i will insert the pictures here um of my wedding dress that I wanted and she also let me FaceTime my sister-in-law who was sick and couldn't come with me and I just thought that was awesome so uh, shitty everything that's going on with her because I absolutely absolutely love her and I feel like 
everything that's going on kind of ruin things for brides that you know love her like me <laughs> but i'm just so glad she is a very strong confident person who is not gonna take crap from anybody and um you know is still gonna do what she believes is morally right so shout out to Haley page and thank you for being as awesome and amazing as you are